If you are watching this video, we assume that you are familiar enough with the concept of rotation. We dwell here on what you should not do when trying to refute an argument. Indeed, it is often tempting to provide counterexamples that actually fail to refute anything and makes you look like an idiot, because you cannot make the distinction between a counterexample and an anecdote. So in this video, we'll dwell a bit on this distinction and exemplify the issue with a very common example. The claim smoking favors lung cancer. How many times do we hear people replying, my grandpa has been smoking for the past 50 years and never developed lung cancer, so your claim is invalid. Well, that is a perfect example of bad refutation and of a bad use of a so-called counterexample. Why is it so? Because it does not refute precisely the claim at hand. The anecdote of the grandpa would represent a proper counterexample if the claim was smoking systematically gives you lung cancer. But this is not the claim at hand. We are just saying that smoking increases the risks. And such a claim cannot be dismissed just with anecdotes, even, if, even with many anecdotes. You will need epidemiological studies, statistical tests, and so forth and so on. So there's no easy way around it. Basically, this anecdote seems convincing only because the argument was significantly distorted implicitly to make it more vulnerable to attacks. This technique has a name, by the way, it's the strawman. Another classic example of anecdotal evidence occurs when people mistake climate and weather. When we discuss global warning, warming and someone comes up with the fact that it was extremely cold this winter, so they are presenting you with a bad counterexample. Just dismiss anecdotal evidence. They are not worth your time.